Friday, February 1. The vision of the opening of the seven seals points symbolically to God's care for and discipline of his people on earth. As Kenneth A. Strand has pointed out, in Scripture there is assurance that God has always cared for his people, that in history itself he is ever-present to sustain them, and that, in the great eschatological denouement, he will give them full vindication and an incomprehensibly generous reward in life everlasting. The book of Revelation picks up and expands beautifully this same theme, and thus Revelation is not by any means some sort of offbeat apocalypse that is out of tune with biblical literature in general. It conveys the very heart and substance of the biblical message. Indeed, as Revelation emphatically points out, the living one, the one who conquered death and the grave, as it said in Revelation 1.18, will never forsake his faithful followers, and that even when they suffer martyrdom, they are victorious, as it says in Revelation 12.11, with the crown of life awaiting them. And we're going to look at several texts here. And here he refers us to Revelation chapter 2 verse 10, do not fear any of these things which you are about to suffer. Indeed, the devil is about to throw some of you into prison, that you may be tested, and you will have tribulation ten days. Be faithful unto death, and I will give you the crown of life. And Revelation 21 verses 1 to 4, now I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away. Also, there was no more sea. Then I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. God himself will be with them and be their God, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There shall be no more death, nor sorrow, nor crying. There shall be no more pain, for the former things have passed away. And Revelation 22 verse 4, They shall see his face, and his name shall be on their foreheads. And that's a quote from Kenneth A. Strand from The Seven Heads Do They Represent Roman Emperors in Symposium on Revelation Book 2 from the Daniel and Revelation Committee series published at uh, Silver Springs Biblical Research Institute in 1992, Volume 7, page 206. And that brings us to our three discussion questions for this week. 1. What valuable lessons have you learned from the scene of the opening of the seven seals? How does it show you that, no matter how bad things are on earth, God is still sovereign, and ultimately all the promises that we have in Christ will be fulfilled? 2. Reflect on the following statement from the Acts of the Apostles, page 9. The Church is God's appointed agency for the salvation of men. It was organized for service, and its mission is to carry the gospel to the world. End of quote. Think of your local church. How could it be more faithful in order to reach people with the gospel message? 3. In class, bring your answer to Thursday's final question. Who can endure the day of his coming, and why can they endure? Discuss the implications of your answer in terms of how we should be living today in order to be prepared for the day of his coming.